Good evening, I'll be doing a different type of video today. I'll be focusing on what type of brushes to use with an hourglass ambient lighting powder. Um, I did speak about it briefly in my gray scroll powder brush video, like these gray scroll brushes are good for the hourglass ambient lighting powder, but I wanted to go more into depth about it in this video and my friend inspired me since she asked me like, what do you use with your ambient lighting powder? Um, and so I decided to make this video. Uh, don't like sniffling again. Anyways, um, I just want to say that gray skull brushes are the best for ambient lighting powders and any sort of like soft powder, you, uh, especially the hourglass ones because I don't know if you're familiar, but the hourglass ambient lighting powders will start to form holes in them if you use uh, coarse brushes or synthetic brushes like stuff like Sokoho or even sometimes um, Psychoho that is not very soft they will start forming forming holes in the product itself and I have like I, I get really grossed out by holes so I, I try to avoid getting holes as much as possible in my products especially like uh, an expensive product like this I did I figured out why, like the, the first time I figured out that um, it was getting holes was when I used a cycle hole brush with the hourglass diffused light right here. And then tiny little holes started forming and I, and I remember that I previously saw people on like online on makeup addiction or stuff or uh, like makeup exchange, they, they had like little bits of holes in their ambient lighting powder and I pieced it together like, oh, it's, it's because of the brushes. So. So scroll brushes are the best for that because they they will not put holes into your product as quickly or I'm hoping that more like more holes won't form anymore since I'm exclusively using it with gray scroll brushes now. Um, I was I did start off using this with gray scroll and then I only tested a cycle hole brush with it once and I'm pretty scarred now. Uh, so these are just yeah some suggestions suggestions that I have. Here's the Flupal 14. It's, um, I've, yeah, I've gone through all of these brushes in my Grey Skull powder brush video already. So if you haven't watched that, go ahead and go take a look at it. Um, this is very dense and no matter how dense the Grey Skull brush is, it, it won't like make the, uh, ambient lighting powder or I'm just going to show it to, to the L ALP. The ALP have developed any holes. It's because the hairs are so fine that it won't do that. And then we have the Wayne Goss 2015 Holiday Brush. So this, this brush is actually like so wide that I don't even know what kind of powder it fits. Like maybe like a really big girl in bronzer or something, but it barely, it doesn't even fit. It's like so big for this. Um, you could try it if you try to like jam the hairs in. I don't know, it just won't get in all the way, but that's a suggestion. And then here's the Chikoro Z1, which is my favorite to use with hourglass ALPs. I just roll it in there and it, and even though it's, even though it's so dense, it, it doesn't apply like all the glitter or anything onto your face because it's so soft. So it just, it'll just show up on your face very, very softly, like a soft focus powder. And then here's the Koyudo Gray Scroll uh, I think it used to be called like the medium powder brush, but now it's just called the powder brush. This one is not very dense. So it'll give a lighter finish. Although in all honesty, I don't think it really matters for ALP if you use like a, an extremely dense or like less dense scroll brush because the finish will probably look the same. And then we have the MK, the Chikoto MK2 and the MK1. These ones are, like I said before, it's, they're like flattened oval shapes. So if you, you can just go in like this, like this instead of like straight down vertically. I mean, you could do it vertically, but I don't apply my powder with that. Like I don't apply powder with the MK2 and the MK1 like this. I apply it like this. So let me just go like this and I don't do it like this. You could, but yeah, here, um, and, and then let me just move these brushes off and show you some other alternatives you can consider. Just, um, 
other alternatives. Well, not only other alternatives, but brushes that may potentially work with it and some that I actually wouldn't recommend. So in my Koyomo video, I did speak about the, <coughs> excuse me, I did speak about the Koyomo Pink Nadeshiko uh, Pink Pearl Finishing Brush, or the powder brush. This is, uh, yeah, it's a finish, I would consider it a finishing brush, as well as the Koyudo B0, BP006. The hairs are so long on this one. Um, They're definitely finishing brushes. You could try it with ALP, and uh, it may work, but I don't guarantee that it won't make any holes in your ALP, so um, I'm not going to try it because I'm like, I'm afraid of the holes, but you can try it out, and if any of you guys have these brushes and try it out, let me know. And then here's the Hakuhodo J104. So this, this one is so much denser than the other two brushes. This is a straight up like powder brush to me, but it's since it's psycho hole and it's Although, also, it's softer than the Koyudo BP006. Since it's softer, you could potentially try it out with the ALP as well. Uh, I think the one... I, I'm trying to recall the brush that I used that started giving it holes. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there are little, there's like one little hole forming here and then some other ones forming inside. It might have been... Actually, the culprit might have been this guy. So... Then, okay, so then I don't recommend this one, but you could try these other two with it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and if you have any suggestions for what types of videos you want to see next for brushes, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be happy to consider them. Thank you. Bye.